Servus Mena, it's Red Pill Germany again. We currently are living in an era, in a time of rapid transformation. That is true for many countries, but especially for Germany, I think. And since about one year ago, since this whole craziness started, they have the ultimate smokescreen, the ultimate diversion to get things passed that normally would be really, really hard to get passed. In terms of changing our laws and transforming and altering the way in which we live or what is considered normal. In my recent presentations I showed you for example how the European Union is being transformed into a real debt union, something the South always wanted, and how also on the European level a kind of foreign intervention slush fund had been created. Very controversial topics normally, but now they're just waved through and the public seems to be not interested at all in these things. Today I want to continue covering a topic that I talked about before also but new developments have come up now the topic sounds very boring and technical but it aims at the core at the heart if you will of the german people i told you before that the idea of federalism is under heavy attack in germany and this seems to be the elite's pet project of the week we see another coordinated attack together with the media and with the key figures in politics on our federal system in Germany. As you all know, Germany is a federal republic, it's even in the name, and that is just the manifestation of the way in which Germans live. We are not a centralized country like France, for example, but under our German federal system, the different member states have a lot of autonomy and a lot of power and authority. They have their own constitution and they can make their own laws. I always compare it a little bit to the Holy Roman Empire where the prince electors had a lot of power and nowadays also the regional parliaments and especially the governors of the different German states have also a lot of power. Angela Merkel wants to change this however. She and her transformed CDU party, they want to transform Germany into a centralized state, into something like a presidential republic or something like that, where you wouldn't need to bother anymore with these pesky regional parliaments and with their governors. Of course we have these and I want to remind you once again that Germany is not a homogeneous people. We are different tribes, we are a federation of tribes and while these different federal states do not compare or do not correspond one to one with our tribes, they roughly correspond to clusters of tribes let's say that have more in common with each other than from the other end of Germany. So in that way we are genetically and linguistically diverse and uh, that is why we also have these different federal states. And when our government, when our leadership attacks this now, then this is a very serious issue. It would destroy the culture and the natural way of living for Germans. And during most of our history as Germany or as Germans, we have been living like this also. Attempts at uh, centralizing our state have been short-lived and not very successful because it is ultimately against our nature. So today I want to tell you what happened recently and what I think about that. But before that I want to thank all my supporters and all my subscribers. If you enjoy my presentations or find them worthwhile, please like, share and subscribe. And if you haven't done so, please consider joining me on an all tech platform. You can also support my channel directly using PayPal, Patreon or Subscribestar. The links are as always in the descriptions down below. Thank you. So what happened now? I reported a while ago that I sense that in our mass media and state media the narratives and the basic patterns of discourse that I could identify were very negative towards our federal system. They were presenting it as dysfunctional and too slow and uh, not efficient enough. I described that in a past video, but now they go a step further, especially in light of our 
perceived health crisis that we have at the moment apparently. I introduced to you guys before the law that all these measures are based on that our parliament voted in favor of an enabling law that um, then gives our state the right to introduce all these countermeasures. But in this enabling law it is ultimately the states that have the power over most of these measures. And this is what Angela Merkel and her party want to change right now. They basically want to alter this enabling law in order to be able to directly from the federal government level on declare countermeasures that are valid then for the entirety of Germany as a whole. That is something that in the current form of the law is not possible. And Angela Merkel already threatened the states that um, she will introduce such an act and that she wants to dictate from the federal level for all Germans what is valid and what is not. And when you can go out and if the shops are closed, if the schools are closed, if you have to wear a mask, etc. All these things, right? So now there is a group of parliamentarians, there is a group of members of parliament from the CDU faction that um, want to suggest that we do just that. What a surprise. So there is Norbert Röttgen, a certain Mr. Wadepool and a Miss Magvas. She is the chairman, I would say, of the Women's Union in Angela Merkel's party and she is from Saxony, I believe. And I think up until now now already 50 parliamentarians from the CDU and CSU parties have signaled that they're in favor of such a change. Also Mr. Söder from Bavaria who actually should defend the rights of the Bavarian state and the Bavarian people against a authoritarian central government. But he even said that as a Bavarian governor he would totally support this. And what do the politicians do? They take their own contradictions from the last year and use them as a reason or as a justification that we need to get rid of the federalist system now. And by the way, when I say federalism as a German, I mean the fact that we have independent states, not the fact that we have an overarching central government or a federal government. In the US this word might be used a little bit different when you there say federalism you mean the fact that there is a federal government. When we say it we um, are on the other um, side of the story a little more and we actually want to emphasize the fact that we still have um, states that have some level of authority and uh, some level of independence. So it is true, we have seen a lot of contradicting statements from politicians. If you take even one and the same politician, you can find, and many channels are doing this by the way, to point out hypocrisy, etc. You can find them contradicting their own statement from last week. And you find thousands of these examples, of course. Oh, masks are this and masks are that and you know the idea right um, it is very easy right now to find contradictions or also differences between certain regions and states that is very easy to find um, if you look at the map you see that it is especially the communist ruled Thuringia under Bodo Ramelow that um, has these high numbers and other areas of Germany are not affected that much so why should we have one and the same um, set of rules? Why should the measures in these regions and states that are affected differently be the same? That makes no sense at all and it is only in the minds and statements of the politicians in which this is contradicting or is somehow confusing the poor low IQ people. No, no German is confused by that. This is the way we live for thousands of years. It is very much normal for us that we have different rules in different parts of Germany. And I want to go even a step further. I would say that some of the behavior of, let's say, state governors or mayors or something like that was probably intentionally at odds with some of their colleagues in other parts of Germany so that they can 
construct this scenario or this narrative in which um, the different competing states with their different rules are somehow not uh, ideal or dysfunctional when it comes to combating this perceived crisis, okay? So what I'm saying is that certain people in the CDU were probably, I don't know that of course, but they were probably tasked, they were probably given the job of just making a mess or, well, or let's say do something that is very much different from what their colleagues in other states are doing and then arguing about it so that they can present that to Germans as some sort of evidence that our current system just doesn't work. It works very well and the states are perfectly capable of deciding what measures they see fit and which measures they reject. And I also want to excuse our poor politicians a little bit when they seem to be contradicting themselves recently because they have to learn by heart they have to study so many lines of so many really, really stupid plays that they present to us, that they perform for us, that I really cannot blame them that uh, sometimes um, they forget it as soon as they said it. Because the exotic oriental writers that write these plays for them, they're not um, yeah, geniuses like Goethe or Shakespeare. They don't have the artistic ability um, to write beautiful um, lines and beautiful texts that you would maybe remember like a beautiful poem that you learned in primary school or a long time ago in school and that you still know at least bits and pieces of as an adult now. No, this mambo jumbo you want to forget as soon as possible and our politicians are paid actors and they just learn this by heart so it is at best in their short term memory and after 10 minutes they have forgotten it again. So give them a little break. It is really hard work to sell out your people to globalist interest groups and it is not easy to remember all these horribly phrased lines that have no beauty and no real content at all and they just have to say it into the cameras anyways. Okay, so I just wanted to keep you informed. The way in which we naturally live, the federalist system, the fact that Germans are living in tribes and uh, this manifests itself in part at least in our federal system with their different federal states and um, our linguistic differences also bear in mind. This is all under attack right now. Angela Merkel and her transformed new CDU, well, not that new actually, they want to transform Germany into a centralized country where the central federal government has way more authority and influence and this perceived health crisis now is just a diversion. It is just the most comfortable way in which to introduce this and this law will only be the beginning. They will do that with schools next, then they will do it with law enforcement and security and with surveillance and then in one or two years we will be in a fully centralized state. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Servus Kameraden!